Conned. I was conned. <laughs> Um, the leaked score was 1-0 uh, in this game and it finished 1-0. Uh, there was rumours that potentially we'd won 3-1 because uh, Ian Taylor, the journalist, I don't know if he's a journalist specifically for Aston Villa or Birmingham-based teams, but uh, yeah, he tweeted the 1-0 Ollie Watkins goal and then was told not to tweet anything else. So yeah, there was rumours of uh, thinking, but it was just MUTV and MUN. Uh, M Manchester Evening News uh, peddling that to get viewers probably, but hey ho, uh, we lost one nil. It's obviously our only preseason game. Uh, most of the squad was of course missing in terms of first team. Uh, we had Rashford who played about sixty minutes. New signing obviously Donny Van der Beek. He played ninety minutes. Uh, Dean Henderson potentially first team now. Um, Luke Shaw played the full game. Um, other than that, uh, oh sorry, Harry Maguire as well. He played the full game, um, but yeah, I mean, we, we started the the game was uh, Henderson in goal. We had Dallo in right back, two centre backs. We had Fosu Mensa playing there, which is the first time I think he's played as a centre back from the start since like twenty seventeen uh, in the Van Halen era. Uh, alongside Maguire, Shaw in left back, uh, McTominay and. Van der Beek in midfield. Then the front four was uh, Daniel James, ooh, Lingard, <laughs> Igalo, and who am I missing? Rashford, of course. I've already said that's why uh, I thought I'd said that twice. But anyhow, uh, so that was that was the starting eleven, and then subs came on uh, in the the second half. Williams, Galbraith, uh, Ted and ooh, I can't even speak Mengi, <laughs> and um, Ilanga came on uh, in the second half as well as Lee Grant so anyhow in terms of top formers I think for us man of the match was probably Luke Shaw uh, he kind of showed exactly what we missed when he was injured at the back end of last season where we struggled a little bit on the left back position overlapping with Rashford his performances suffered as well because of that uh, Rashford te um, seemed to play more centrally this game uh, he was kind of left back uh, left, left back left wing a little bit but I, I don't know, I think Lingard drifted off uh, a little bit more to the left and Rashford was kind of in the number 10 area for most of this game uh, while he was on the pitch. But yeah, Luke Shaw played really well. Uh, Mengi was absolutely brilliant when he came on. Um, you know, he's definitely one to watch this season. I hope he breaks into the starting XI. Like the, the perfect um, scenario for him was Jack Grealish dribbled through about three of our players and then Mengi just stopped them flat uh, without you know Grealish getting a shot away um, yeah we, we also had some decent performances from uh, Van der Beek he did have a solid game today his passing was pretty good uh, could have had an assist if uh, Galbraith had managed to finish that was about our only chance in the game to be honest um, but yeah he, he, he looks decent and I'm intrigued to see how he plays with the first team players Fernandez, Pogba, Martial you know all, all the usual suspects um, so yeah it, it's hard to judge but uh, as a debut in a half assed team uh, I don't think it was too bad to be honest uh, I think Maguire was okay um, Fosso Mensa was decent Henderson looked solid in goal um, he didn't really have too much to do but everything he did he, he commanded his area well that's going to be an interesting battle between De Gea for the, uh, the, the first team uh, number one uh, what else? Who else had a decent game? Um, I think uh, James is... I think he's a confidence player. If he gets one early in the season, obviously he's not a starter, but um, you know, in a cup game or whatever, I reckon that'll help because he, he seems to me be making a lot of rash decisions to try and... Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is decision-making wasn't great, but everything else was quite good today. And yeah, you could tell he's... He's trying too hard. He, he wants something to work and he's rushing to get that to work. So some of his crosses were, were just all they needed was a little bit more composure and maybe we could have had a tap in. Um, but, you know, yeah, I think he's a confidence player. And yeah, w when he gets a couple of goals, he could go on a streak. But of course, he's just he's just a bench uh, sub player, like a, a bit part player, a squad player. So, yeah. Other than that, I'm trying to think. I'm sure I'm missing one other player that actually played relatively well. I thought Dallo was okay. He made a few errors here and there, though. Uh, McTominay wasn't bad when he played. Uh, Galbraith, bar one mistake, looked decent when he came on. But, of course, it, it's pre-season. It's, well, it's not even pre-season. It's just a, a friendly before we play a game in a week. 
in the Premier League. So yeah, of course, this is nowhere near full strength, strength, but of course we did still want to win. And we played well up until the final shot or the final pass. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Like the left-hand side, we bombarded them. Shaw should have had at least three assists. As I say, he was my man of the match today for us. Um, and yeah, he, he, there was just no one there. Uh, there was a few decent crosses, as I say. And uh, yeah, no, nobody was there. Martial probably would have been if uh, he was playing. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Palace played well today against Southampton, uh, picking up three points. So it's going to be an intriguing opening match of the season at Old Trafford. We'll see if we get that 12,000 capacity. Probably not because of the new six-man rule that's uh, been implemented uh, for, well, potentially a new lockdown, but you never know. Anyhow, um, yeah, we got Palace, uh, I think it's 3 p.m. or half five, or whenever it is, it's Saturday next week. I can't wait. Premier League's back. As for transfers, who knows? Obviously, we want Sancho. We want a left-back, maybe Regulon, Tellez. Uh, we'll probably wait until next season for Upa Mancano. Uh, well, that's our main target anyway, whether we'll get him or not. Uh, but just, yeah, transfers is a completely new, different story. But in terms of the match, I'm excited. And I hope we've got a couple of new faces as well. But if not, I feel we can obviously get a result against Palace. No disrespect to them. But, you know, especially if you want to have top four aspirations, if not title aspirations, you have to be beating Palace at home. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But I, I'm, I'm quite confident with that game. Just, yeah, it'd be nice to have a couple of players in. Sancho, you know, player called Jaden Sancho, please. 